sometimes, sometimes things can come to our attention and we're not actually aware of it because we're so focused on doing other things. What am I talking about? And how does it relate to Wednesday's recast T'Challa or else? I'm going to tell y'all about it in a second. Be real with D-Real. What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? You know what? We're going to do it different today. I don't want a background today. I want to be transparent, if you will. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another Be Real with D-Real, where edutainment is what I do. I'm D-Real. Now, today is Wednesday, and Wednesday is where we give you a little hashtag recast to Chala or else type rhetoric. Well, what I want to do today is just a little bit different. I want to draw attention to the recast T'Challa or else movement and just recast T'Challa in general. Quick question. How many people, if you're within the sound of my voice, how many people have you told about the recast the Chala movement, recast the Chala or else, boycott Black Panther 2. How many people have you discussed that with? How many people have you talked to that with? Uh, with? Any? If the answer is no, I guess my first question is, why not? And then my second question is, are you afraid? And I don't mean fear as in fearful. Fear can come from a lot of different places. Fear can come from, you know, one's, one's anxiety about oneself. Uh, one, fear can come from what are imagined thoughts of others' expectations of us are. But what I'm telling you, fear has two acronyms. Two, first acronym, forget everything and run. A lot of times, this is what people do when they don't want to be confronted by something that's uncomfortable to talk about or when there is something they feel they will be challenged on if they start talking about it. Uh, if you're going to have fear, then that acronym should be Face everything and rise. Mm, that's a lot better. Now, how that relates to this, I was out today. And of course, it's Wednesday, so I had my joint on. I was repping. I see you out there, Theo B. You got a big fat recast of child on yours. So I might have to step my game up a little more, you know? <laughs> um, but anywho. Um, I was talking to this lady because uh, she approached me and asked me, you know, what, 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 what is that about? And I explained it to her and the look of, oh, wow, like revelation on her face of, I never thought of it that way before. Yeah, she, what I basically said to her was what I've been saying to you guys for the past five, six weeks, I don't know, something like that, somewhere around there. But basically, the layman, the casual, is woefully unaware of this movement. Um, we need to bring this movement to the fore. We need to make this movement more visible. Uh, Myself and a couple of brothers and sisters have gotten together and we formed this page on Facebook called the Council of Wakanda. And that's to raise awareness about all things T'Challa, Black Panther, and Wakanda. But we also need to raise the awareness of the recast T'Challa movement. A lot of people are woefully unaware 
of this movement. So here's what's going to happen when people are woefully unaware of this movement. Marvel Studios is going to continue shooting their movie in whatever fashion they feel like shooting it with whoever they do or don't want in that movie. That movie is going to hit the box office and people are going to rush to go see it, whether it is a success or not. Case in point, people talk grade A trash about Black Widow. Black Widow did 80 million on his opening weekend. And dare I say it, the outcry and the anticipation for Black Panther Wakanda Forever is far greater and less delayed than Black Widow was. So the response to that is going to be even higher, okay? I still stick to my guns, they ain't gonna make a billion, but it's not gonna flop either. Simply because the casual person goes and sees movies because they're out. Not because of what anyone on social media has or hasn't said about that movie. Because the average person doesn't even listen to movie reviews. They go and see a movie based on what they've heard or what someone's told them. Word of mouth is the most effective way for moving information still even in an information-driven age. Word of mouth can be a text. Word of mouth can be a phone call. So we're still communicating directly with each other about what we should or shouldn't be doing. We need to do that very same thing with this recast to Chala movement. We need to be communicating with one another directly, and we need to be communicating with the layman, with the casual. You know who the layman is in your circle. You know who the casual is in your circle. Talk to them. Raise their awareness because they are the ones that are going to make the difference of whether this movie does or doesn't succeed. Um, I'm not throwing a black eye on the movie, but I have problems with there not being a T'Challa in a Black Panther-based movie. I've said it, and I'll continue to say it, and like I said, I'm going to be on y'all bumper with it. You're going to hear it until you get tired of hearing it. So that's kind of my thought process today for Recast to Chala Wednesday. Um, again, y'all need to comment, like, and subscribe to the Be Real with Be Real page. Little watermark in the corner, uh, that corner, actually. Uh, nope, that corner, that corner, that corner. There we go. Okay, um, hit that watermark. That will subscribe you to the Be Real with D Real page. You will get uh, updates when new material is on the page. Again, I want to thank folks for rocking with me and watching my video. My man, Ray Smith, I appreciate the conversation we had. New subscriber, Joe Conan. Welcome, Mr. Conan. I love talking to you. Always a pleasure, man. Keep up, keep up the good work. And as always, you know, my regulars, Young T, Austin, D. Steasel, uh, badass 9000, man, all of y'all, man, appreciate y'all. Keep on pushing, uh, pushing forward with me uh, and let's fear. Let's face everything and rise together. Us. This has been Be Real with D-Real. I will be back with another one. And until then, y'all be good. Be good to each other.